I don't say I love you. I don't ever say I love you. Why, Why are you doing that? I say I love you. I don't say I love you. This nigga sitting on a medicine ball or something? Like I this? never say I love you. What is going on? I don't say I love you. I never say I love you. I don't ever say I love you. <laughs> What's going on, Clutch? What up, what up, what up? What up? What up? This is Clutch going. Bro. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another bitch of the day. You feel me? He hired an investigator to spy on his online girlfriend, 90 Day Jesus Fiance. God. Yeah. Yeah, These man. guys here, man. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting Damn, worse. man, that a oh, private investigator, man. That's that's Yo. expensive money, bro. Yo, online girlfriend. Right. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna get into it right now, man. Yeah, Make sure man. to like, subscribe. We we didn't have the last incident with Tyree. Yeah. You know how that ended or however it's going. But and one of y'all Ross told me you sent him to Tyree's Instagram. Yeah, so. yeah, now he seemed to be doing good. <laughs> seemed to be good spirits, taking pictures and stuff, seem seem happy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so maybe he maybe he's gotten over the situation and moved past it as he should have a long time ago. But nevertheless, he, he I was trying to find his sister's like at, but I he, got you, I got you. He, he's posting he's posting no more. Than he's smart. I definitely was trying to find his sister's at. Watch oh, I got you, bro. Oh, appreciate you. Send that out my way. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let me fix this back to normal. <laughs> you was making fun of my brother. I mean. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just saying what you thought. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. As soon as one season is over, another one just starts right up again. No time to decompress or process what no we've just witnessed. To it's boom, right back into it. Gino's sitting here with a new hat. Yeah, I got a new hat. <laughs> we are only two episodes into this, and we already have a catfish, a private investigator, and a Gino. This man right here is already approaching David's level of desperation, oh, which if you're no. pulling that off by episode two, we're talking about record-breaking stuff here. This wow. is revolutionary. To be breaking out the private investigator, investigator this yeah. soon into a relationship it's something we've never witnessed before it blows my mind how That's anyone could think too. that the beginning to a healthy and long-lasting relationship is paying someone to follow your fiance around and it's not like this guy's being nice. catfished or anything he just thinks she's lying and you know what she probably is the whole thing is just bad all the way around violet <clears throat> is from ho chi minh city vietnam she's beautiful i think she's beautiful Damn, she's, vietnam? Like, she don't even look her age i felt like there was a connection Ever since then, we've just been chatting, you know, and calling each other pretty much daily for two years. Violet. Oh, is well, at least he. Well, I don't, I don't know. He could be talking to somebody else. In my life. All right, that's a, sort of a weird way to introduce your fiance. Definitely yeah. sensing some bitterness going on underneath the surface. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. jerk I've ever met in my life. Jerk. All right. That's, yeah, that is uh, weird. Sort of a weird way to introduce your fiance. Definitely sensing some bitterness going on underneath the surface there. And you'll notice pretty quickly that they have sort of a strange dynamic. I'm like really, really, really. Oh, okay. Well, side. so this that is, is a different. Re so he's actually FaceTiming. So he sees her, talks to her. That's, oh, that's leagues better than some of the other <laughs> videos we have seen. So. Give him that one. I'll give him that. He actually using his cellular device in the year that we're in to actually FaceTime someone Come to on. check and confirm if that person is real. You get at least a point for that. You get one point. I'm real happy. Just oh, you love me. <laughs> I'm not saying that word. I don't say I love you. I don't ever say I love you. Why are you doing that? I say I love you. I don't say I love you. This nigga sitting on a medicine ball or something? Like I this? never say I love you. What is going on? I don't say I love you. I never say I love you. I don't ever say I love you. Because whenever I <laughs> He's say confident I love you, that person, they leave. Uh oh. oh. I, I, I'm not saying the word, but I'll say this. <laughs> what? what? Why does he look so proud to admit that he doesn't say I love you? I don't say I love you. So the way they speak to I each other and him you. giving her the middle finger and everything could easily just be harmless flirting. <clears throat> or there could be something bubbling under the surface. And considering this is 90 Day Fiance, I'm gonna go with the latter. So when they first introduce Riley, he talks about two serious relationships in his life that failed. I could be wrong, but I believe he said he was married and his marriage fell apart because he caught his wife cheating. And then uh, in the future, when mm. another relationship was starting to get serious, his girlfriend took off with little to no explanation. At uh, first, of course, you feel sympathy, but then also I'm wondering, is he leaving any details out? Out. So how do you I could. love to her? Oh, yeah, this, this, 
What? You know, it just occurred to me how weird it is that we're still blurring somebody's finger. Do you know the right. shit that Jasmine and Gino talked about this episode? And then they blur this guy's middle finger? I wish they would just blur everything with those two. I'm sick of it already. <laughs> we're, we're on episode two, and I'm sick of them. All right, sorry. Getting off topic. Getting off topic. It started because Violet told me women in Vietnam mean the opposite of what they say. So mm -hmm. when she says she hates me, it actually means I like you or I care for you or whatever. So she knows how I feel when I do this. Oh, okay. So does that mean if you hire Reverse. a private investigator, what you're really saying is, no, I, I don't want to investigate you. We're, we're cool. Did he sarcastically hire a private investigator? W would she be upset if he didn't do that? Is that what's going on here? We've been through sure. some ups and downs over the last year or so. I just feel that there's something there with Violet that she's just not telling me or she's not being as forthcoming <laughs> as I would need her to be. I, I, I'm gonna let you go. I know it's late there. Get some rest. Have a good night, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. It's a little weird, right? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird, kind bro. of strange. Everyone yeah. has their own way of flirting. You know, that's cool. Yeah. They got their own little thing going on. <laughs> I would just, think this was a lot less strange if it weren't for all the things that follow. But, you know, like, you come on. Over. How far does this go? What is he gonna do when he sees her at the airport? Give her a noogie? Anyway, of course, his <laughs> friends have to give their opinion on it. So, do you love her? Yes. It's just, I don't like saying the word. But I'm bringing a ring. That's it. A ring. It's more like a promise ring. She looked like a it promise ring. You too old for that. Once I get all the answers I need and we can get yeah, past. Yeah, he, he got some past, stuff he got to unpack. Oh, yeah, that sounds uh, that He sounds got very some reassuring. trust issues Once and stuff he got Once I pay somebody to unpack, track bro. her down oh, and man, find out if she's a liar or tough. not, then I'll know for sure if she's my soulmate. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you already have layers upon layers of drama and you haven't even met in person yet, then that's probably not a good sign. Yeah, that's... I asked her often if she was divorced and she said so yes you don't know she's a divorce look at the glass she told me later like three months in that <laughs> oh by the way my divorce was just finalized but it was three months in after i asked her multiple times all right so why don't you just confront her about the lie and if you're not satisfied with her answer or apology then just end the relationship i think it makes perfect sense mm. to be concerned if that's true and she lied about when her divorce was finalized but if you never address that. that and now you're always just wondering what she may or may not be lying about and now on top of that you're recreating scenes from the movie there's something about mary none of this is mm. healthy <laughs> or good or leading in a positive direction and no. i'm all here for it i'm ready to watch it all go down <laughs> 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 Like, she was so adamant that I come off the dating app, and I did it. And when this whole thing blew up, I went just to check and see if she was still on it, and she was. Ah, Riley has found himself in a classic conundrum. So I think what happened is they got into an argument about the whole divorce thing and didn't talk for a while. He decides to go on a dating app, the same one that they met on, I assume, and he finds Since her there as well. Her. Now this proves that she might mm. be cheating, but if you approach her about it, then you also look like you might be cheating. So right, what are yeah. you supposed to do here? So this yeah. all seems pretty bad, especially for a relatively new relationship, but it mm -hmm. gets a lot weirder when it turns out that Violet has been messaging Riley's dad whenever they get into an argument. I have a about 150 different texts from different days. What the fuck? So oh, wait. OK, 150. 150, you can check it. Why he still texts? Oh, don't worry about that. We're just messing around, you know? That's that's our sense of humor. She's totally kidding, you know? I flip her off, she flips me off. We argue. We don't talk for, for like five days. Maybe she downloads a dating app and texts you 100 times in the middle of the night and says a bunch of manipulative, bizarre things. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. You see, I knew your son doesn't love me, and the time we are together, he just loves him himself. Really, he never knows how is true love, so he if he ever will be alone. Really, this is what she says to you. That's a good Damn. one. That is that Damn. is such her sense of humor. That is so her. Isn't she just the sweetest jerk you've ever met? <laughs> and I did not comment on it because I don't want to get in the middle of anything. I Man, I actually feel really bad so for his questions. father because yeah. I'm sure he doesn't want to deal with any of this crap and he's getting dragged into it by these two goofballs. I think this is definitely up there when it comes to worst starts to a relationship on this show. Sure. It seems to me that Violet is taking advantage of my father to try to get to me, to manipulate him. He's elderly, he's sick. Like, how she get his... Who does yeah. that? Yeah. That's, you know that's... who does that? My soulmate does that. That is what I look for in a woman right there. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to imagine finding this out and still continuing with the relationship, but you yeah. know that he's going to. And on of top course. of that, he thinks that the investigator thing is going to save his relationship. If you're yeah. hired by somebody like this, you probably don't even have to do anything like 90% of the time because nope. the answer is going to be obvious. This is ridiculous, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk about this. I'll never be your darling. Why is she texting him that? 
Those text messages just She's aggravated alive. me. At least this guy didn't try to make a million excuses and say mm. something like, oh, she was hacked, you know? That, that wasn't her saying <laughs> But it would be ridiculous know at this somebody. point for him to go and meet her and bring her a promise ring. We're doing a promise ring again, really? What is he promising her? What could he possibly be promising her? I promise that I'll love you forever as long as the investigation clears you. I always felt that Violin hasn't been really giving me the full story about the divorce and not deleting the dating app. So I'm looking to hire a private investigator in Vietnam and in order for me to get the truth, this nigga, but take your I money. feel like this show should have its very own investigation service at this point. They should. Yeah. require much either. It could just be Big Ed with a magnifying glass. That's <laughs> about the level of expertise you're going to need to crack some of these cases. My main concern is, is she really divorced? The other thing I would like to know is, is she still on the dating app? At one point, this guy said he had an entire list of questions prepared for Violet when he meets her for the first time. So it seems he's planning an interrogation of his own, which is, of course, very romantic. Because yeah. she, when we had a big falling out because of one of her lies, I went back on the app just to see and she was on the dating app using a different name. Yeah, yeah, I see. Well, that's not sketchy at all. And now yeah. he's about to give him a copy of her passport. The trust all around is just Jeez. wonderful. I do have a copy of her passport. Okay. We can find out where she lives. Okay. What she wants. Okay. Yeah. And then we will follow her, check her activity, daily activity to, to find out her relationship. We got our best guy on the case. His name is Detective Ed. If there's anything to find out, <laughs> believe me, he will find it. Right. You're not going to like his methods. Of course, we have, we will send you with a uh, picture and a uh, video. Would you actually like get in a car and follow her? Sure. Really? Wow. Okay. He was this way is... too excited about that. Why is he this so is... excited about the fact that they can follow her around? This escalated so quickly. We yeah. just got introduced mm -hmm. to them. This is the second episode, and we already are talking about having a spy follow somebody around. <laughs> Isn't it a little <laughs> bit early for wild. spies and That's conspiracies? What are, what are we doing? I mean, I feel uh, ding ding gong gong. I feel, you know, but yes, you know, I, I just I want to protect myself and and make sure that you want to protect yourself by having some guy follow her around and update you with pictures and videos every it's day so... honestly this seems like it's going to be one of those couples where they're both just awful and there's nobody to root for it'll definitely yeah, yeah. be very interesting to see how this all pans out anyway that is it for today's that's... video i hope you all enjoyed it please have a wonderful just week that's Ex wow extremely bro. extra we're gonna have to check the rest of that out uh yeah man uh yeesh uh, can't go in no relationship already trying to send out a investigating yeah PI, nah, man. bro that i i know that's just that's too much <laughs> and you supposed to be trying to potentially marry this person or get engaged the promise ring. all right bro yep all right this, this is wild y'all want us to finish the rest of this series <laughs> comment down below make sure you run up the likes as well i'm interested to see what happens with this one because sure. this one seems super wild and crazy but hey you already know man mm -hmm. continue to spread love be love keep on supporting this man and we catch y'all on the next one peace out already Bitches from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.